I'm about to drop this brand new Jane Technologies and Strat MIT rap. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and let's do this. You guys got that beat? It's coming through. Yeah. You just feel free to just nod your head to it if you want. You know, just like feel that groove. Yeah. Like this. If I could be one grad of MIT Sloan, I would be Socrates with that weed smoke, that Jane Technologies. Yeah, it's got that clean code, got the n -strat class up in beast mode, but I'm no graduate of MIT Sloan. I'm just saying that kind of move making would be dope, and Scott's never seen so much cash before, plus human well-being, that's the, the credo. But wait, which direction is it clever for Jane to take? A navigating entrepreneur entrepreneur can make a lot of mistakes and Scott Stern is the compass master so we'll break it down and figure out the straight pathways that Jane has found. I'm talking about the strategy compass, right? Those entrepreneurs can use it so they're not just grasping at hunches because a pioneer without a compass is lost technically. Which competitors are we up against and what's our identity and who's the target customer and what tech do we need? Check the compass, figure the direction and proceed. Check the compass for Jane technology just check the compass on my Sloan peeps at MIT check the compass yeah just figure the direction and ask yourself are you taking the field are you attacking and storming a hill or do you sit back and dig a moat and just chill are you jackrabbit skilled are you packing a tortoise shell are you building a coalition or straight competing for deals compete or collaborate storm a castle or fortress build that's the compass baby north south east west four strategies so let's see which one is best there's intellectual property that's where you sit back and collaborate you stay safe within a castle and just add to the value chain within an existing market and deliver for incumbents an idea factory that's how getty images functions an architectural is building a moat but still competing a strategy that's got google and open table succeeding with reservations for seating it's a brand new platform that industry transforms like jane or like the apple app store you know or like facebook which is serving an urgent need that people never knew they had while still controlling the IP and identity to get up in everyone's headspace. But architectural plays can also go the way of the segue, and that's a segue to disruption. Storm a hill and compete. Keep a low profile at first. Don't provoke the beast, just stay low and build exclusive cred like Clubhouse. And then when it's too late to defend, you just bust out with moxie and verb like a swaggering hip hop hustler. Trust me, you wanna be Netflix, not Blockbuster. Having a last stand like Custer. Rest in peace incumbents who failed to fend off attacks from disruptors. But wait, you can storm a hill and collaborate. That's the slow path to riches, y'all. That's the value chain, the domain of quiet achievers. Some would say the safe path, the pedestrian way to make cash. I'm talking data cash, straight facts like me, kicking MBA raps. I'm adding lyrical value, but y'all paid for this class. And that's a value chain move to the industry so it flows free. And Jane has that. Ask Anna Nadine. Dia Sobolski, the disruption play is gonna go too slowly. Ask Brittany Brody, that's a twisty rolly. The industry was exploding and a lot of startups fail. And plus Socrates did not want to go to jail and end up on a federal prison list. Thank goodness Jane has never been the biggest fish. They're the scrappy underdog with ethics and grit and they never work with illicit businesses. And if I may let Jaime say it, say it, it was stuck between the legal and the illegal designations, plus drug dealers get watched by the federals, y'all. And Scott's got a DEA agent for a brother-in-law. Touching the plant would be silly. The banks were all chilly. Funding was an issue, points out Lara Acheli. And Socrates had the momentum. His back was windy. And the last thing he wanted was to go back to McKinsey. Cause yo, if I could be one grad student of MIT Sloan, it would be Socrates with that weed smoke, that Jane technology style. With that clean code, got the end strat class up in beast mode. But I'm no graduate of MIT Sloan MBA. I'm just saying that would be a dope move making thing. It would be dope. And Scott's never seen that much cash before. Human well being is the credo, the credo, the cannabis industry. 
was a wild landscape Cash made on pen and pencil deals with handshakes It lacked transparency in a really bad way Just like Scott could not see any of your hands raised So you need a way to make sure visibility doesn't distort Scalability of stores was poor Ask Chris Ford And cannabis is something that not everyone can carry You gotta duck regulations Ask Terry Van Perry's and delivery is a risky business Complex mixes And a beer versus three shots Yeah, we all know the difference But dispensaries have products that nobody knows well Plus a 21 plus sign Just ask Toast and Joel Ask Jason Lowry Not every customer knows the shelf You know, all those products that Jason knows well And that's fine, baby Yeah, cannabis users big up Kayembi Mavula knows we gotta fight that stigma This isn't just weed Yeah, people use it differently It's an agricultural industry too Ask Winston Reed The challenge was to add uniformity and literacy Ask Mohit Malhotra And he won't disagree So when Sock was getting Jane started He appraised the market and decided to stay hands off As advised by Taylor Carter This is a well-being product, yo It's not just dope And dispensaries need e-stores and customer info Everything Sock and his team have achieved is crazy, son He started off like y'all Chilling in the atrium Before he built the whole architecture That most Americans now use Before they're sparking the split first And that's the compass It's how companies are profiting Also, shout out Aaron Scott For her co-authorship And Josh Gans They took a startup chart And chopped it into four highly demarcated quadrants So capture that data set It's prohibition era money The industry is fluid, baby Ask Lindell Waferisani Just like Zoom during COVID It's the new TV It's like Scott Stern with Al Sharpton on MSNBC Socrates is a humble man He was like, yo, we're the source of information For those who ply dope I started in Iraq with a rifle Took the high road And now Jane is this whole freaking industry's bible And as a prof, Scott has had a lifetime of adventures But it got upended the minute Jane Technologies entered They call me Baba, like Alibaba Never jacking the price But Scott Stern had never seen so much cash in his life So next time you buy marijuana and spark it Keep in mind that Sock and his whole team have freaking cornered the market And it's changing the world It's not just point making, it's DoorDash or Amazon without the exploitation Saving mom and pop dispensaries, selling weed, ganja, herb, Mary Jane I appreciate it as an MC, it's well-being Edibles make me think hella deep like Hell yeah, get that money and let it be So yo, if I could be one grad at MIT Sloan I would wanna be Socrates with that dope weed smoke Jane Technologies, you know they got that clean code Get the instrat class feeling up in beast mode But I'm no graduate of MIT Sloan I'm just saying that kind of move making It would be dope and Scott's never seen So much of that cash be full Plus human well-being is the straight up credo So all my startup founders just follow your hunches, your passions and hungers, your appetites for disruption at MIT business lunches, testing industry functions. Just don't forget to check your freaking strategy compass, cause a pioneer without a compass is lost technically, like which competitors will be up against and what's our identity and who's the target customer and what tech do we need? Just check the compass, figure the direction and proceed. Just check the compass, figure the direction and proceed. Just check the compass, figure the direction and proceed. Proceed and proceed. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>